Hello everybody and welcome to another customizer showcase. In today's video, we're taking a look at the DX9 Attila upgrade kit by Sean Mizzlebrook. Uh, got a few kits come through from Sean, so we're gonna be taking a look at those over the next few days, but this is the one I was most excited for. Now the DX9 version of Menasaur has got a lot of love from fans. Personally, I do like it, it's a good, solid piece, but Sean's given us a couple of different options for this figure, so we can kind of mix and match and make it just how you want him. Uh, we'll start off by taking a look at his leg upgrades. Let's be the first to say that these are exceptionally clean prints. Really nice and smooth. Basically the leg upgrades allow us to mount Montana and Henry, mount them on the front of the shins. There are variations as well. We can have it so they're mounted with the cars facing upwards, like so. Or you can also have it so the cars are facing downwards. Step one is to unfold these panels on the front so that we expose this purple section and these two tabs. Fold these back in and secure those either side. Now, to attach these to here, we have these pegs that it comes with. If you want the car to be facing downwards, like they are already, and we mount using the M3 and the M4 tab, they're just gonna tab in. And if you wanna mount the cars so they're facing upwards again, uh, using the same bracket, only this time we flip it and we use one, which secures like so, and two, which secures like this, which allow the cars sit up on the front like so and just levitate over those knees. But personally, I do like the downwards motion. Now to get our cars ready for the downwards motion, uh, you do need the adapter for Montana that sits in the back there. Uh, I'm useless, I've managed to mislay mine, but lucky for me, Sean kindly printed me off a spare one. But obviously you do get the adapter with your Attila figure, and it's designed just to help peg him in to the top end. These literally just slide down like so. It's exactly the same as the normal one. So uh, let's start to get these mounted. So we're gonna open up the baggy, and we're looking for, uh, which way are we doing this? Let's do this this way, shall we? So we're looking for M3 and M4. Oh, that's M4 into place, and just place M3 in as well. There we go, that's nice and firmly tabbed in. And then make sure that you've got this adapter piece outwards, and that's gonna line up with here. And then this is gonna line up with the tab. Let's do this side on so we can see what we're doing. Up. There we go. And there we go. Now, if you remember, my Montana is knackered. That was a pre-production sample. But there we go. That does mount nicely on the front of the leg. Doesn't hinder the articulation on the feet at all. We don't have to have the waist rotated round like I've seen a couple of people do as well. I'm going to do exactly the same for Henry, works exactly the same. I'm gonna get him taken off, switched around, and let's take a look at it fully combined. And here they both are in position. Sit on there remarkably well. We've got the grooves set for the wheels. So this one tab's using the bottom tab and then locks in using these pegs here. And I mean, that does, does clean up really nicely. Sean's done a nice job there. Like, how that works. I haven't quite pushed this one in properly, have I? It doesn't help that my Montana's fallen apart, but really nice 
colour match on those. Very inconspicuous. The only downside, obviously, is that we now have these kind of open parts on the backs of the legs. Maybe he can make some fillers. Because uh, these won't be able to come round, will they? That's the only thing we're missing now is maybe like a filler or something just to cover off these back pieces. But yeah, really like these. I think, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have it displayed with these like this. Yeah. I know Menasaur had them on the back during the cartoon, but as a kid, when I had the original G1 Menasaur, I would display it with the cars like this. I think that may have been kind of where it came from. Then IDW kind of adapted it and used it in the comics. Oh man, my <laughs> I need a new Montana. Let's <laughs> add it. But definitely going to be getting a set of these for the DX9's G2 version. We're only missing their Motor Master done in G2 colors now. As soon as he's out, I'll definitely be getting a set of these in G2 variation. Uh, but really, really happy with these. Really solid builds. And of course, we can switch those out to get the cars facing down. Let me try and do that now, just so we can see how they look. Now, that looks pretty nice as well, doesn't it? It actually comes down lower than I thought it was going to. Oh, I think I may have cars down. Oh. What do you all think? I have to excuse the uh, the dust that we've got on here. Uh, there's three screws on the back of the head. Uh, they just unscrew and we can pry the head apart. And because the new head doesn't use the translucent colours, I think we can actually still use the translucent, but these included the red anyway. So we're going to remove this and this is tabbed in. You just need to push away from the chin. And it's a job to see, you can see that it's coming away. There we go, from where the chin was. So that's what we're left with. The replacement faceplate can then come on and that'll push on exactly, there we go, same way as the other one came off. Let's just compare those. This one's definitely way more animation accurate, isn't it? And here he is with the head fully on. No lack of articulation there, still moves up and down, left and right. In comparison, I mean, this one's definitely much more, much more natural. Yeah. Loving, loving how that looks actually. That's really nice. I mean, there's just something about that kind of reconfiguration. It looks epic. I really love it. I'll include a link in the description below to some more of Sean's work. I've got a lot of blast effects as well as a few matrix effects for some of the MP figures amongst other bits. But yeah, absolutely love stuff like this. It amazes me how people can come up with these sorts of ideas. Uh, genuinely very, very impressed. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy, busy lives to view my content. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. And until next time for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all for watching. Ah, goodbye.